Holiday Hall from the beautiful Arizona desert at the One Mile Phoenix International Raceway. EA Sports welcomes you to the Phoenix International Raceway in Arizona. Tell us more about this unique track, Barney. Boy, it's beautiful here, right at the base of the Australia Mountains, and this is quite an interesting racetrack. First, it's known as the world's fastest one mile oval. Add to that the fact that each corner is slightly different. It all adds up to some great racing. These drivers hungry for a win have come to the right place. It's time to take the checkered flag for the NASCAR Nextel Cup Series. The Phoenix International Raceway of Old. They reconfigured it back in 2011 for the fall race. So, but the old track I've had some success on. So, the first Phoenix race I had was in NASCAR 06, the night race. It's up by Fresh 500. I finished top five that was a really good race the second time around in the chase in nascar 06 i almost came away with the win but carl edwards was able to hold me off couldn't catch up to him in time finished second so that was disappointing that i couldn't quite get to him in time but that's just the way it goes sometimes in nascar 07 i finally was able to triumph at the track as i completely dominated at the end and got that win Amazingly, that was a uh, probably one of the more boring races, but of course NASCAR seven seems to be pretty boring. At least the season it is anyway. And NASCAR wait, this uh, was quite interesting because pit stops were already unfolding. Half of the field was just about to get lapped by me because I stayed up for an extra lap. And right here, the caution comes out. Why? We were about to find out because those drivers that came through that last time by. There's a bit of an incident, as you can see right here, Tony Reigns, uh, just driving way, way, way too fast, he's coming on pit road, gets shunted in the back by the guillot, and we have about three or four cars flip over, but in the end though, I was able to hold him off, because half the field got caught lapped down, and I won, so, that was quite one of the more interesting races I've had. But I think NASCAR 2004 will show that the exact opposite happened to NASCAR 8. So, just listen in on how this unfolded. Please give me a stop by me, pit crew. I've got a big lead, I don't want to lose it. No! Oh god. Hopefully I'm not a lap down. Who was that? The 88? Um... Is that the 88 that had one engine? It was. The 40 was stuck behind him and the 8 just piled driving. Unfortunately, because my slow pit stop, I was caught lap down, but I don't think it would have mattered if I had a slow pit stop or not. And hoping, hoping that I was going to get a caution and get back up and challenge for a win, I never did. However, three cars did in front of me did stop, so I was in 8th at the time. But here, it, as you can see, as I'm trying to get to the finish line, I did finish 5th. So that was an improvement. and. Because of that, I now have finished in the top 5 in every single race at Phoenix International Raceway I have raced at so far. So basically, in 5 races, I've had 2 wins, 3 top 2s, and every finish, every race I finished in the top 5. My average finish there is actually 2.8, much uh, improvement from Las Vegas. Next week is All Close Beauty in Fontana, and that's my hometown track. Hopefully that's a track that's good to me. I'll see you guys then.